Hello class. Today we're going to be going over the ME333 Jet Momentum Lab. To do that, we'll be using this airflow bench, which has a blower down below that forces air through a pipe circuit. That air eventually exits through this nozzle here where we have our experiment set up. Uh, we have a means to measure the flow rate. Uh, we have a pitot tube to measure the velocity profile. We have an electronic balance here to measure the downforce of the air jet. So we'll go into all this stuff in a little more detail as we run through the experiment. So let's start with the, the instrument panel. To measure the flow through the system, we have this inclined manometer that's connected to either side of a laminar flow element. The pressure drop across the flow element is a measure of the volumetric flow rate in cubic meters per second. And we can make that conversion using the calibration constant provided with the laminar flow element. The pitot tube is routed through a differential pressure transducer. Uh, the signal of that, that transducer is sent to this digital manometer here. That reads out in millimeters of mercury. We can connect uh, various signals to that um, differential pressure transducer. We have a high pressure side and a low pressure side. In our case, the high pressure side is connected to the pitot tube. The low pressure side is connected to atmospheric pressure. We can use these switches here to connect various pressure taps through that transducer, and we'll go over that more in a future lab. And we can turn on our, our compressor using this switch here. Here's a look uh, behind the instrument panel. You can see our, our flow is routed through this calibrated laminar flow element here. These are the taps that go up to our inclined manometer on either side. This is the high pressure side and the low pressure side. Over here is the differential pressure transducer that we read our pitot tube with. Um, this is the low pressure tap and the high pressure tap. These are both routed to the high pressure and low pressure switches on the front of the control panel. All right, I've got the compressor running now. I'm gonna go ahead and close the bypass valve and start diverting, diverting flow through the pipe circuit. You can see the manometer reacting as I increase the flow using this gate valve here. I'm gonna adjust it to 30 millimeters of water. I'll get that adjusted and let it sort of settle out to a steady state. All right, that looks pretty good. So we've got our flow rate set. Now we'll take a look at the pitot tube. Our pitot tube is set up and aligned with the center of the jet, so as I traverse it, I'm capturing the full diameter. You can see the tube itself has a larger diameter section and then a small diameter section that's inserted directly into the flow. Uh, we want that to be as small as possible so that we disrupt the flow as little as possible. Here's a close-up of the horizontal stage we'll be using to traverse our pitot tube here across the jet. You can see we have a scale up here and we can manipulate this very precisely in one millimeter increments as we traverse across the jet and take measurements. So you can see that with our flow set at 30 millimeters of water, the downward force exerted on the balance by the jet is about 3.7 grams. You can see our manometer reading, the bottom of the screen, is bouncing around a little bit. That's to be expected since we're right at the edge of the, of the wall. Now I'm gonna go ahead and record, it's essentially zero. I'm gonna go ahead and move it one millimeter in. And we can see the manometer reading responding. Again, that is in millimeters of mercury. And so at one millimeter, we have a reading of 0 0.2, 0 0.21 millimeters of mercury. I'll write that in my table. Progress to two millimeters in. Our manometer reading is increasing. 0 0.60. Record that in my table. Three millimeters in. Zero point seven three.
All right, that's all of the measurements. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so for this part of the lab, we've moved the pitot tube out of the way, and we're going to raise the scissor jack up, moving the plate on the balance closer to the jet. And we're going to monitor how the force changes as we do that. So on the side here, we have a scale for the pointer. So we're at 12 centimeters now. I can raise that up to 11 centimeters, like so. You can see not a lot of change. So I'm going to leave it on the balance here as I move up centimeter by centimeter. So moving up 10 centimeters. nine centimeters, not much change, eight centimeters, seven centimeters, and recall we started at about 3.7, 3.8 grams. So the force is actually dropping now as we get closer to the jet. Keep going up. Six centimeters. Still dropping. Five centimeters. Still dropping. Four centimeters. three centimeters, and now we're actually transitioning to a negative value on the balance. So the plate is actually being drawn upwards, taking weight off of the balance. We're at two centimeters. Go to one centimeter. Now we have a one centimeter gap between the lower plate and the upper plate. We have a negative 8.83 grams. I'll take it up to half a centimeter away. I won't want, don't want to get any closer than that. As you can see, negative 15 grams or so. All right, so that's just an observation. We'll need to try to explain that in your, in your report. I'm going to take it back down. And that's it for the lab. You'll get a data set. This is bench number two we've been working on. Calibration constant for the flow meter is in your handout. Uh, that's it for this lab. Good luck.